shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you were interested in picking up a channel membership for as little as $1.99 a month, head over to my channel profile and hit the join button to view all of the available perks. Thanks. Today's video will contain some light spoilers relating to some of the very new crystallized episodes that have been released in English over the past week. To be specific here, episode 17 is what we're going to be discussing today. So if you have not seen that episode and do not wish to be spoiled on anything we do go over here, I recommend watching the episode and then come back to this video once you're done. But for those that are staying and want to watch today's video, however, well, welcome back to the channel today for a new video. Today I would like to discuss the Crystal King and how some of his lines in some of the new episodes, episode 17 to be specific, seem a little iffy to me personally. I want to first start off this video by just clarifying and saying that I absolutely love the Crystal King so far and I strongly believe he's had some of the best quotes in Ninjago history. And I'm not joking when I say that, he has had some insane quotes and overall his character as the Overlord has just been a massive step up from the Overlord we have seen in seasons two and three, for example. The Crystal King so far has just been pretty much great all around, and I don't ultimately have many complaints about him. However, with this being said, in episode 17, mainly towards the start, things felt just a little bit off, you could say. And this video may come across as nitpicky, and you're totally uh, entitled to your opinion if you do think that, because I totally see where you're coming from if you think that today's video is maybe just a tad nitpicky, which I do apologise for in advance if it does come across that way. But the Overlord, honestly, to me personally, just felt very iffy and just kind of off personality-wise and line-wise. For example here, the very awkward and overdramatic, quote-unquote, I have returned line that he drops off at the very start of this episode. What makes it even more awkward is this is that this was like the first line in episode 17. At the very least, it was one of the very first lines. The Overlord comes out of the crystal. We saw that in episode 16 towards the very end. The cut to episode 17, he's still walking out of the crystal over towards Lloyd. And he just casually says, quote unquote, I have returned in this really like over dramatic way. Not too sure. It just feels very strange to me. And this is probably the most nitpicky line we're going to be discussing. But uh, yeah, that line there definitely felt very strange to me. Definitely not necessarily out of character, but just strange. And it's definitely a very interesting decision that the writers took for the Overlord in this season with this specific line. Don't know, it just feels a bit strange to me. And of course, the Overlord is prone to dropping very overdramatic lines. But this one in particular, not too sure. It just really rubbed me the wrong way. Again, just me being nitpicky, but that is what I do believe here. But then there was more importantly, the entire scenario towards the start once again, where he was trying to impress Lloyd with his own powers. This one felt very, very strange to me. And to be honest, it did feel out of character for the Overlord. Him trying to awkwardly impress Lloyd with his powers just felt goofy, if that's the right word for this. And I don't know, it's just quite hard to explain. I just didn't really like it at all that much. First of all, he gives the uh, Crystal Council their new powers in front of Lloyd in an attempt to impress him. Lloyd says that, did you really think that purple suits would impress me? The Overlord then goes back to the drawing board a little bit. He shoots his power, creates this big crystal type thing uh, that can then control the entire Oni Temple. The Oni Temple lifts up off the ground and flies way into the air. And uh, that was about it. That was the other attempt at trying to impress Lloyd Garmadon from the Overlord there. So yeah, overall, it just doesn't really feel like the Overlord to me. It definitely does feel a little bit strange. And so I think that it's kind of a balance here. A lot of the parts of the Crystal King feel like a huge improvement compared to the Overlord in seasons two and three. However, some parts feel like a little bit of a downgrade. This episode really does prove that, in my personal opinion, because some of his lines throughout the very beginning of the episode, again, just feel a little bit iffy and slightly off to me. And I don't know, it didn't really feel like the Overlord all that much. And it just felt slightly strange and kind of out of character. And again, it's just a very strange thing that I've noticed in this particular episode of Crystallized. Again, maybe I'm being nitpicky. With all of this being said, though, that just about does it from me here. So if you did enjoy this of one, of course, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, plus so much more. And hit that notification bell so that you can be the first to watch my new videos as soon as I do post them here on the channel. And also be sure to drop your own thoughts down below on this in the comments. With all of this being said, though, I will see you all soon for my next one. Goodbye.